trying to read my book, but as you can see, there are three other people in my bed. You have your own bed downstairs. You're intruding on us. What is this, attachment parenting going on here? Get to bed. Oh, no, I miss my baby. Get to bed. Check it out. Yesterday somebody asked my kids what all this stuff was for back here. I'll show it to you. He literally said, what are all those books for back there? He got in the back seat. What are all those books for? <laughs> they're for reading. What do you think they're for? <laughs> I tried to eat a habanero pepper. Actually not a pepper. I blended it up and just sampled it. I just touched my tongue. And it felt like I touched sulfuric acid. I mean, these, these things are absolutely inedible. I have to just put them in the trash. <laughs> uh, real quick, because I'm preserving video uh, and uh, battery life, we're, we're making our way to the train station, heading into Manhattan for the kids' uh, performance recital. And then I have a meeting with a client, but I'm going to cut this short here. Check out what we get to walk by every day. Pretty cool, huh? Long Island Sound. All, all they do is, all they do is sell avocados here. Only in New York. Go ahead.
Good morning. We're on the way to the city again, going into Manhattan. All four of us, mom too, go on the commuter train with all the all the wage slaves, all the Wall Streeters. We're gonna take the seven, I don't know, twenty-three train in. It'll be jam-packed. This is New York. Read, read the monitor. On the C train? Yeah. Are you sure? In front of Central Park right now. I'm going to meet with a student for, I don't know, an hour and a half, two hours. And the kids are going to do their sword fighting. And then we'll hustle back out to Long Island. That's, that's today. Still doing a no carb thing here. Salad with a burger. Okay. Gonna bark at me. My cat was bigger than you. <laughs> Stupid little dog. I'm trying to make uh, sauerkraut again from scratch. I heard it tastes a lot better uh, than what you can buy at the store. So I tried it once before. I spent $80 on a pot, which I'm going to show you in a second. And it, it didn't work out, I'll tell you. Here's the pot, $80 on Amazon. All you're supposed to do is put the sauerkraut or put the cabbage in there. I've got some in already. Put a little bit of salt in, in layers and kind of mash it and um, apparently all the water will come out so it'll be a liquid um, and basically you put these stones on top of the sauerkraut to keep the air out and that's how it uh, ferments or whatever it does whatever chemical reaction is the problem is like I said I tried to make it before and um, it just turned ultra moldy and really pissed me off because I spent you know, it takes like 45 minutes to chop up this cabbage, put it in there. It takes like five weeks to make. I mean, it, it probably costs $12 worth of cabbage. And uh, all I got was mold. And I spent $80 on this, the stinking pot. So I'm giving it a go again. And if it turns moldy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to catch the mold earlier and scrape it off. I mean, I, I couldn't find anything online. But if it gets moldy, if I have another mold issue with this, with this sauerkraut, I'm going to take this pan, I'm going to go stand on the roof and throw it onto the driveway or, or this crock pot. I'm going to have it shattered and then I'll put the video of that in the homeschool dad show. So wish, wish me luck with this thing. So, so now i got to mash this up. You're supposed to just be able to put salt in it. Let's see, I don't know how well you can see inside. You're supposed to just be able to put salt inside and the water, I don't know. Just gets released from the vegetable, from the from the cabbage. It takes forever. I mean, I've been luckily I have strong arms and hands, uh, but I've been, I've been pounding this, mashing this stuff up forever. And last time it took a good half hour of doing this. I know you some people just add water, but I don't want to do that. But again, this is just the agony of uh, making this. Hopefully, it's not going to turn out to be all moldy again. All right, so what are we, what are we learning today? What? I'm going to teach you how to do the E minor. Guitar. Okay, tell me how you do the E minor. So, in guitar, your thumb doesn't count as a finger, so your second finger is your first finger. So we're going to take our first finger, and we're going to put it on... So that's your index finger? Yeah, it's your index finger. The one you picked your nose with? Yeah. Okay. But so you're going to put, not your first that, finger. That makes sense. They call it the first finger, because it's the most yeah. important finger. But not your first finger, your second finger. So your middle, middle finger. finger. All right. And you're going to put it in the second fret. These things are called frets. Okay. The second fret. 
on, well, this is the first string, so, and this string is called A, so we're going to put it on A. Alright, let's get to it. And then we're going to put our third finger right below it in the same fret, just line with, like, line. Alright, where does it sound like? And how many strings, how many strings do you strum? All of them. Okay. And then when you play other chords, it sounds like this.